Her <laughs> said, you had a big J for me in Amsterdam. <laughs> Not what I thought you meant, bro. <laughs> As soon as we booked this battle, uh, I hit up bag and said, let's get drugs. <laughs> Magic truffles. Oh, man. I eat those. <laughs>
sidestep. <laughs> Step in on that bubble. Be humble. Or I'm coming at you, doing the icky shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> when I get there, he's in trouble. <laughs> I'll engage Quill in fight mode. He'll probably go for that right. Whoa. <laughs> nice try, bro. But I know Tybo. Next, you reach for the biro. Take it off safety. Stab it in the eye mode. Then in the right low, then the five o, the ninth toe, side poke. Five o, right low, five o, keep them going, continuous cycle, like a cycle, checking for typos. And then just casually exit the spot, doing the reverse techno job. End of round one. And I'm feeling hella strong. I ain't going anywhere. Oh, 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 oh. You get the fuck out of it. <laughs> That was a good round, my friend. And that scheme is the first time you've ever been a killer with your pen. I like, I like the drums on your shirt. That t-shirt's the best. Fuck a blizzard, I can make a beat on your chest. So Harry Baker said if I'll make it to a checkpoint, how can I measure my progress? Well, I made it with 24 hours to spare, that's no sweat. <laughs> anyway, I like you, Harry, so let me say good luck with your battle today. Oh, wait. Anyway. <laughs> let me get direct. Sharpshooter like Brett. Aim to hit man's heart, it's over for you, Owen. You getting dropped in the ring from the start. Mm. Seen as he Ivan, it's only right then we count punches to measure our bars. Ogmios the god of persuasion. And damn, you good at persuading us, you better than you are. Yeah. Mm. Admittedly, we got different views. That's because we're taking different paths. I've been body bagging rappers, you've been making people laugh. Mm. Looking like C3PO. <laughs> See, I can make people laugh, but you're in search of R2-D2, you still need to fix up your craft. Raka. But you won't probably just fix up your facade, dedicated yourself to self-deprecation. Now, I'm not saying fuck the comedy acts, or it's gotta be rap, but I can't ignore what my heart's here for. You asked me questions to paint a picture, <laughs> and I answered yours where you a dead soldier on my canvas. I'm painting the art of war. Boy. You're getting more than you're bargaining for. You had the hunger for more. I've only just started to get hungry. Kruger passed me the cut of your line and saying title shot. You're one of the best in the country. Well, I'm feeling like rogue. You ain't touching me. Mm. I ain't saying your style of master shit. I think it's good. When done by Nils with skills and calcium, kid. <laughs> I mean, don't try to pass it off as your own. You describe yourself as a robot. No, you're just a drone. Artificial, none of your art's official. Pacemaker, I'm thinking that your heart is stickle. Cause what PE teacher couldn't pick up Nils at a birthday? I guess it's cause it's his style that's been carrying you in the first place. Yeah? Wordplay, darker than Bane's birthplace. Honest to God, she Honest to God, my flow darker than a Hollister shop. There's a reason. <laughs> Wordplay, 
Darker than Bane's birthplace, honest to God, the flow Darker than the hottest to shop, there's a reason nobody's really bodied you, Og I mean you beat C major and matter, which I rate but they both better rappers It's just your lack of character makes you harder to violate That's why you escaping body bags Not this time mate, PE teacher making pupils thinner It's only right you was gonna have to die late <laughs> Teacher, what happens when little Tommy asks you, oh, how do I run track the fastest? Do you tell him, oh, you have to align your chakras? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to say it for me? Say what, bro? End of round one. And I'm feeling hella strong. I ain't going anywhere. Uh, put the kettle on. <laughs> Respect a man that keeps sea monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> that whole scene bugs me. He should be young and free. He says he's got two and they're both called Steve. <laughs> That's not even funny. <laughs> I'll sneak in, open the tank, and pour the turps in. Leave you with two dead Steves, Jobs and Irwin. <laughs> See, I've got them personal personals. <laughs> Don't mess with my patience. Nobody's safe, even domestic crustaceans. <laughs> I do family fortune surveys on the street. <laughs> And the top answer for Quill, off beat. <laughs> you tried to call out Blizzard and Youth, ended up falling out with the tune. <laughs> but sometimes that works for you, because that's how he got off beating his missus. Ooh. On account of all the misses. <laughs> But he was gonna confess regardless But the cops watched your drops and dropped all the charges <laughs> Anyway, she left him in their home So now he just beats off alone He's in denial He can't chat to this guy He's got a one-track mind But he's on some kind of free-form jazz vibe <laughs> Bruv, do it for hip-hop Work with the track, bro. You ain't free to waltz in on your Jack Jones. It takes two to tango. Four hip hop, three waltz, two to tango. Does it sink in? That's the angle. Mm. I don't want to have to stop and retrace and revisit, but I've got to break this beat down in case he miss it. Because mm. he, he, he ain't mentally strapped. When you see him temple tap, he's just trying to see where the tempo's at. <laughs> Oh, remember, bro, never listen to that inner metronome. <laughs> that's just a mental note. And that's a multi level joke. Yeah. Yeah. For Quill cool fans, you gotta let them know. <laughs> Great clashes, you don't have a lot. I've got a back catalog of classic hog. How many times you gone crazy for a matchup by my maths too? Raptor and rappers are romantic too. <laughs> Man, that was a hoop. <laughs> Innuendo, cracker, you. Don't flop's very own harassment crew. <laughs> you see Quill, smooth as silk, sidle up on the street. <laughs> Chatting up a girl with his intricate rhyming skill. <laughs> Telling her it's divine we should meet on Valentine's Eve. Let's get a bite to eat. She listened politely, then replied, I'm 15. <laughs> <laughs> Shit gets deep. She gave you a number. <laughs> it's just nine digits too short. <laughs> it was that, like, um, uh, you didn't seem sure. <laughs> How are you gonna serenade a girl that ain't seen 11th grade? I swear she was just trying to sell a lemonade. 
you're a reprobate. <laughs> I don't want to lecture, mate, but well, you're a lecture, mate. <laughs> But you can see his guilty conscience was in a severed state Listening to what the angel and devil say like M and Dre Meet James, 24 years of age He's out looking for a date Hey yo, she's only 15 years old Fuck that, keep rapping in the air hole <laughs> Anyway, he rhymed jail with bail and edged away. <laughs> but still I can't endorse this progression in courtship. Cause you tried to move to A minor like a chord shift. Oh. <laughs> He's a bit, a bit sneaky. <laughs> Don't have him as your wingman, he'll creep in. As soon as your back turns, he's like, ah, oh, babe, let's leave him. <laughs> He'll seize the date like carpe diem. He thinks that's Latin for slide up in the DMs. <laughs> well, it makes sense. It's in his name. If you want to think, because for any bird, a quill always comes off the wing. Ooh. Let's go. Just to clear up, yeah, I don't have sea monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it does. That's not a that's not a true fact. Did you be like, I've got a line with two dead Steves? How can I use that? <laughs> <laughs> you asked me 21 questions, out of which I asked you two after, out of which there was only one that you choose not to answer. <laughs> so out of curiosity, how old are you, Og? I'm younger than Tony D. <laughs> That was freestyle, it weren't written. He said he's younger than Tony D. Who the fuck is it? Fucking queer, dropping my beer. Right, let's go. Where was you? Oh, alright, okay. Reason I didn't have so many questions to ask is because I could already see the flaws in your structure. You built like the shard. Mm. Like the fact like the fact like the fact you don't pause cause you you don't pause for effect, you pause cause you forget. Big, large paws. <laughs> you need to moisturize. You drop in tear. You moist in my eyes. You ain't a veteran. You a vegetarian. <laughs> Vegan, sorry. I know he's so pedantic. He even won the host battles. Just to be organic. <laughs> I guess being vegan is popular now. But if you try and make out on what's wrong with mankind, you'll get sucked in the mouth. Yeah. Mm. So don't decide to try me with your Tai Chi. I'll just take 10 steps back, because apparently his Hadouken's only reached 9 feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pussy Hadouken. <laughs> if you learn to follow through with speed, then I'll fight Ivan to the death like Apollo Creed. <laughs> Different outcome. You'll be lost for breath. Like oh, when he running up the rocky steps. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I will never fight with this vegan nerd. But just know if you're talking beef, then I'ma make you eat your words. I heard when you're fucking your girl, you're humming beats. <laughs> Meditating whilst penetrating so you can come in peace. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you had a battle and got beat by Lux and you just asked Scotty to beam you up. <laughs> Pronto. You said you travelled the galaxy, what, in your Fiat Punto? <laughs> in the round two, and I'm feeling hella strong, someone tell Og these are 90 seconds long. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, his old rap name was Justice. It was. <laughs> so shut up, man. It's a good name. <laughs> Strong name. 
His old rap name was Justice. He used to right all the wrongs. But there's no justice in this world, because he deleted all the songs. <laughs> but if you thought they were all gone, we need to think some more. Because I found a couple of your songs on thisis50.com. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> They're called Bang Bang and Hip Hop Savior. <laughs> that means Hip Hop Savior is now in Hip Hop's graveyard. <laughs> Shit, that might explain the likes of Iggy Azalea and all your time signature failures. Man, I miss justice. He has some great quotes. My gun won't jam, but it'll make you toast. <laughs> <laughs> Who's making toast? <laughs> and <laughs> out of all the lions, I have the biggest mane. Of all the rice in the bowl, I am the whitest grain. <laughs> Now that one you might have to explain. <laughs> I'm not saying you're prejudiced, bro, but that sounds like some kind of secret white supremacist cult. <laughs> You'll see his Aryan brothers on road and be like, the white is green. <laughs> if you know, then you know. <laughs> All I know is that you're ashamed that you ever wrote this rubbish, but you failed to clear your name, so this is poetic justice. <laughs> Still are justice. You can't escape your past just because your bars are rusted. Look at it from Oxide. I'm that one God that can't be corrupted. So now your quill, the pen that came after antiquity. But I'm on this killing spree. You can't live with me. His special power, calligraphy. <laughs> Bro, calligraphy ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> Yo, I'm on a different stroke. This guy is just looking like a different bloke. Anyway. Yo, back to my pensties. This ain't a choke. I'm just thinking about hemp seeds. <laughs> Cause I roll with the fire. That's not inkwell. You have to reach for your ammo. That's the inkwell. Mm. You have to think well, but let's be realistic. Cause what is a quill but a dipstick? <laughs> and you have to show respect if you're gonna test my metal. Cause a dipstick can only check for these levels. Mm. And I'm progressing it, the penmanship. From feather tip to metal nip, it's effortless, extra grip. The premises are right better than you ever did. The linguistics, I know that. The vocab, the syntax, interwove these raps. Damn, you can't need, I won't even hold back. Shit, interwoven raps. I'll whip you from a different lane like road rash. Yeah, that's a throwback. <laughs> if you got a Sega back in the day, you would know that. <laughs> but you got them sonic lines about the edgehog. But them sonic lines ain't about the edgehog. <laughs> you got a soft spot for Sonic, I'm Dr. Robotnik, I'm your next boss. <laughs> Turn up at your yard, put you in the headlock, kick over the Xbox. <laughs> we can go quill to quill in a straight fight, but I'm gonna be the quill that they like. <laughs> like, all my bars are encrypted. I get a pass in the hood, that's a cryptic. <laughs> <laughs> but I already marked you out with this pen I got. Go back, connect the dots, I turned you into a pentagon. Boy. Why? Cause that rhymes with what I'm ending on. <laughs> I'm a little teapot, uh, put the kettle on.
That quill line was sick until I thought about it and realised it's not a stick, so it can't be a dipstick. <laughs> anyway, my friend, as the Dr. Robotnik, I always defeated him in the end. <laughs> my work rate is something to follow. When I realised I was battling on this stage, I wrote a whole new battle just so I can still beat you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm joking, I brought training days to the main stage. I feel like Tyson in his prime, having this many people watching me train. Mm. SAS, I'm training but still firing shots, stop calling me out. You need to up your bio shots. Oh, I did this for the plus one. My friend a big fan of Luna, you should have done a youth manoeuvre and blew sooner shots were fired, that's a Sambuca. Mm. Boring man. By the time you finish a sentence, I could have bored a man and finished my sentence. Because <laughs> it takes you so long to get out your thoughts, he chokes in every battle and never gets caught. <laughs> You're too slow, don't try, but my flow more like the venom from Snow White. Your daddy long legs all venom and no bite. <laughs> Flop that. Let me go back, let me do that. All right. <laughs> You're too slow, don't try, but my flow's more like the apple from Snow White. Your daddy long legs all venom and no bite like that. You disguise fiddle, let me tell them how I know why. Cause you go off on a tangent. And it's hard for us to keep up when your words are at random. And you changing the content. I like the dating fucking scheme you did. You changing the context just so you can come up with a concept. And I ain't a fan of that spill. That's Roan filler. You ain't really rapping that quill. Mm. Our similarities, both on a killing spree. Differences, my ammo on infinity. Like I got a download from Cypher in the first of the trilogy. Now talking of Matrix, has anybody ever mentioned to you, you look like the bald kid who's bending the spoons? <laughs> hours of this fella's week is dedicated to practicing telekinesis. <laughs> <laughs> Bama Lam invited me to hop on this shit. See Blam when the lamp punches like I'm fighting in a comic strip. I make this comic strip. No ugmills, keep on your boxes, we'll comb in your clean socks and shit. The mother deep throw my dick and still beat me at countdown. <laughs> shit nearly made me puke. The TV was on mute. I was facing the TV, all she could see was my pubes. <laughs> Honestly, I cringe when I say them bars, but it's to lower my pen game to yours and to make them laugh. I mean, I'm hitting you with fucking... I'm hitting you with fucking grenade bars, that's throwaways. Your bars, 20 kgs, they ain't holding weight. Mm. Let's fuck it, end it, let's go. Mm.